Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fill this with Bondo. As you can see here, I've created a small channel uh, that's within the eyes here. So I'll go ahead and add that and I'll come back later. Okay, so back again, just finished filling this with Bondo here. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is uh, the faceplate's been taped off um, from the back side and I filled the whole thing in with Bondo. What I'll get then is a uh, Bondo puck, um, which I'll then carve with the details for the eyes and whatnot, um, hollow it out, and then make it so the lights will fit inside of it. Um, I'll be setting this up for Pepper's Ghost, but it can be done with the normal uh, bottom reveal, which is a small little cutout at the bottom of the eye lens there. So, um, but the light, the lighting here will allow that f uh, to happen. Okay, so creating some uh, Iron Man War Machine iPods. As you can see here, uh, basically I've taken the puck out, took the tape out. Uh, it's actually a separate piece now, as you can see here. Uh, I started actually sculpting some of the uh, eye pieces here, so. Uh, basically what I did is I, t I drew a line along the edge of uh, where I believe the the eye should fit and then carved it out with just a re regular uh, box cutter. Uh, later I'll go in with some needle files and uh, detail this, but for now uh, this is what it's looking like. Um, and it's still pretty rough on the back side here, so um, I'll be uh, splicing these videos together to kind of show you how these are all done and what's all included to do these. So, but anyways, that's the uh, start of it. As you can see, I put a little uh, lock down the bottom so it's, it sits positive in the area so I can actually uh, sculpt these out without having it, you know, float around and move. So, here's day three of creating the eye sockets for the uh, War Machine faceplate. So, uh, as you can see here, um, got a lot of stuff cut out, uh, including the center piece there, as you can see on the inside. Um, on the back side, I've uh, added a tab, or carved out the tab so it's uh, t taller than the actual eye thing, so it uh, reinforces the, uh, the groove in there. So and I'll be sticking a piece of plastic inside there to illuminate it. Um, anyways, so onto the back. The back, um, you see the line up there. Uh, LEDs usually typically need about half an inch to uh, diffuse the light so you don't get any hot spots. So. Uh, as you can see, the line, line there is the uh, line of demarcation as far as um, where I need to go to. So, and I need to add more to the bottom as well. So, uh, this should be done soon. I'm about ready to wrap it up for the night. Um, it's getting pretty dark. Um, okay, uh, day four of creating the iPods for the War Machine faceplate. Um, so, as you can see here, I've carved out some of the, uh, the areas. Um, what I'll be doing is sticking LEDs up on top here. And then uh, I got to do another layer down here because this isn't thick enough. Uh, so I'll be putting a layer of bonder down here and then uh, finishing up the uh, detailing inside here. Uh, just to kind of finish up and fill in the areas. So uh, I'll be right back with the bondo. Okay, so here's after the bondo's uh, dried and I've had a little bit of chance to carve it up here. So uh, you can see I put some recesses into the top ends of this. Um, I'm going to sand these flat um, both, on both sides. And then... Um, what I'll be doing is adding, uh, these are the circuit boards I'll be using to attach uh, the LEDs, uh, and I'll be using micro LEDs to do these. So uh, you can stick probably up to six or seven on this little strip here. So, um, But basically the strip would go right along the top. So what I gotta do is I gotta carve that out uh, so it's, it covers from about here to about you know right where the line is there. So you get enough uh, LED light to, to shine through. So um, I still got a little bit of carving to do on this. And, uh, simply what I'm doing to carve this is just a regular box cutter. Um, so anyways, uh, that's day four. I will have more updates tomorrow. Here's the front side. Okay, so here's day six of the uh, Iron Man War Machine. Wow. War Machine uh, faceplate creation. Sorry about the camera flux there. Anyways, uh, so 
you can see I sculpted out some more and take a look at the back. Um, the back has actually uh, been sculpted up more um, and I'm going to add, actually add some more to this side here uh, to match that side. I um, was trying to figure out which which way to do this and it looks like uh, that side's the better side to do. So I'm going to be adding some more and then carving it out. Uh, yesterday I spent carving it out. Um, if you take a look at the, the front, you can see where I carved out the, the, the eyes. So there's a slight reveal on the inside just as like the movie is. Um, 